welcome to the Ameridroid Mini Lab slash Electron Closet. Today we'll be looking at the Vocor micro router available at Ameridroid. This is not only a micro router, but it's also a single board computer. With a lot of GPIO, it's got a built-in switch, Ethernet, USB, a lot of different functionality. Alright, so there we have it. It uses the Raylink chip there for the single board computer. It's got built-in Wi-Fi, built-in antenna, all that good stuff. So the first thing we need to do is hook up power and on the Ameridroid site you can find on the Vocor page this image where it shows 3.5 volts and ground. Closed it. 3.5 volts to 6 volts and ground. And those are these two pins right here. So fire up your soldering irons. I already have a couple leads here ready. Okay, so I have the red power going from the smart power to the Vocor, and the black going from the Vocor to ground. Now we'll turn on the smart power, and we'll see that it immediately jumps into action. We're running about 0.8 watts right now. If you don't have a smart power, uh, you can take a standard USB cable off of any USB device or any extra USB cable you might have and uh, open it up. You should see a red and a black wire. That's typically power and ground. All right, although you may want to hook it up for testing purposes with a USB power adapter like this, also sold at Ameridroid. This power adapter supplies up to 2 amps, so plug this in and then test your leads. Make sure you're getting 5 volts when you have ground hooked up to the black and, and power hooked up to the red. Alright, and then just connect those two to your Vocor and you're set to go with a detachable power supply. When it's done booting, we should have an open Wi-Fi called Vocor. So let's see if that's available yet. So we see Vocor is now on the list. We select it. It's connecting. And connected. So here it says that we have an IP address of 61.249, 192.168.61.249. The vocal by default will always start out with 192.168.61.1 one as its address. So if we go to the browser now, so if we go to the browser and type in 192.168.61.1 61.1 and hit enter. We'll come up to the Vocor's login page. The password by default is Vocor. And there we are in the administration interface. So this is already set up to be a wireless router, so you can have multiple devices connected to it. Now if you want to do this 
For multiple devices, you can do that. Uh, but if you want to connect it to an outside device like Ethernet to run it as a, an access point to the internet, then you'd have to connect to other pins on this for Ethernet. There's also USB ports. Uh, there's a five port switch built into here and some GPIO pins as well. So a lot of expandability on this little guy. But as you can see, it doesn't take much to get it powered up and to get logged into it. That's it for today. Thanks.